Now, as more and more people get excited about Google's Daydream, their virtual reality platform, one big question many of you will have is will your device be Daydream ready? Now, what exactly is Daydream ready? Well, Daydream ready is a term Google is giving to next generation devices that will have the necessary low latency sensors, low persistent display and minimum GPU and CPU performance to satisfy and deliver Daydream's VR content. Now, the bad news is that your current device will likely never be Daydream ready. And that's primarily due to the fact that your device likely won't have the necessary sensors and also will not have a low persistence display. Now let's talk about confirmed daydream ready phones. And first up is the ZTE Axon 7. The first official daydream VR ready phone to be announced was the ZTE Axon 7. Priced at just $399 US, the Axon 7 offers a pretty compelling package, especially when it includes support for Google's VR platform. The ZTE Axon 7 specs also give us a first hint at the minimum specs required for Daydream ready phones, including the Snapdragon 820, an AMOLED display, and 4GB of RAM. Next up is the ASUS Zenfone 3 Deluxe. Even though the high-end version of the Zenfone 3 Deluxe recently got a spec bump to the Snapdragon 821, both the Snapdragon 820 equip models are also Daydream certified. Considering all three phones have Full HD Super AMOLED displays, QHD is clearly no longer the benchmark resolution for Daydream VR phones. Now let's talk about Daydream Ready specs, and the following specs are absolutely not official. They are simply drawn from a list of already announced Daydream Ready phones. First up, of course, is the Snapdragon 820, the minimum chipset required. And 4GB of RAM looks to be the minimum memory requirement. On the display front, at least a Full HD OLED display with low persistence is also necessary. Prior to the announcement of the three Zenfone 3 Deluxe models, which have Full HD resolution, it looked like QHD would be the minimum resolution required, but that now seems to have been relaxed. And of course, all devices need to be running Android 7.0 Nougat to take advantage of its sustained performance mode for VR also. Now let's talk about possible daydream ready phones. Based on the specs mentioned above, there are a few existing devices that could theoretically be daydream ready. The Moto Z, the Moto Z Force, Snapdragon versions of the S7 and S7 Edge and S7 Active, and the OnePlus 3 all have the Snapdragon 820, at least, for full HD OLED displays and at least four gigabytes of RAM. Now I know what some of you are thinking, you're thinking, Jace, Google used the Nexus P as a reference device for Daydream developers, so clearly Mother Google must have hacked something in the Nexus 6P to make Daydream work on that particular device. But you should know that the LG G5, the HTC 10, the Xperia X Performance, and even the Le Echo Le Max Pro all have LCD displays and thus are unlikely to be Daydream compatible. So how many of you are holding out for a Daydream ready phone? Do you care? or maybe are most of you just really confused about what Daydream VR is? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Do you guys remember from like 15 years ago when people were making money hands over fist in the dot-com bubble? Remember we didn't call it a dot-net bubble or dot-org bubble? We didn't call them dot-biz billionaires. We called them dot-com billionaires because that's the power of a dot-com. Now, why is that? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com.